Welcome back Hyperspinners! Now that we've covered all the basics of adding, auditing, and running our games, we'll discuss different types of emulators. Today we'll be setting up our arcade games with MAME, the multi-arcade machine emulator. In the description below you'll find a link to the MAME development website, where I strongly encourage you to first read the What is MAME section. After that, select Downloads, Latest Release. At time of recording, the latest MAME version is 0.176. However, it's important to be aware that MAME is updated on a monthly basis and that unlike with most emulators, your ROM version must match your MAME version. If you're starting from scratch, download the latest release and place it in your Hyperspin Emulators folder. Make a new folder here for MAME. Place the file you just downloaded into this folder, then run it and select Extract. Once extraction is complete, you can delete the file. MAME is now installed, but when you run any game for the first time, you'll get a nag screen. To streamline the user experience, we'll replace the exe file with one that's been compiled with custom patches. Hyperspin users upload patched executables to the Downloads, Hyperspin, Third Party Apps, Other section of the Hyperspin website. What you're looking for here is an executable that has the known egg patch. You must be sure that the one you grab matches the version of MAME you are using. Choose a compiled executable, download it to your MAME emulator folder, and extract it, overwriting the existing exe. Once done, you can delete the downloaded file. Next, we want to make sure we have MAME properly configured for our needs. Run the newly patched MAME executable and go into Configure Options, Video Options. Set them to your personal taste. Be sure to also go into Miscellaneous Options and set Skip Information Screen at Startup to On. You can browse the other menus at your leisure to get a feel for MAME's capabilities. Your controls are defined in General Inputs and you can toggle different types of input devices on or off in the Advanced Options menu. Once you're satisfied, select Save Configuration, then return to the previous menu. Now go to the Plugins menu, and make sure High Score Support is set to On. Return to previous menu once that's done, and exit the program. Now head to your Hyperspin ROMs folder, and create another new folder to hold your arcade games. Just as with the console example we discussed in the last video, MAME utilizes ROMs. However, some games won't run without their associated CHD, or Compressed Hunks of Data file. CHDs contain all of the information that, in the real arcade cabinet, would have been stored as a physical disk or drive. As such, for a complete game set, you need both ROMs and CHDs. Furthermore, you'll find that MAME playsets come in two varieties, split and merged. The ROMs we're looking at right now are split, meaning that every version and variation of every game gets its own file, as is the case with console ROMs. For example, here we see all of 1942's regional variants. In the case of a merged set, these would all be contained within a single file. While that would save space, and even though it sounds convenient, it takes a lot of extra work to use a merged ROM set with Hyperspin and Rocket Launcher, and you sacrifice some front-end functionality. A split ROM set is the Hyperspin standard for good reason. CHD files, however, only come merged. This is normal, and they'll work fine that way. As previously stated, your ROM set version must match the version of MAME you're using. If they don't match, a lot of games won't work. Once you find the ROMs you need, place them in a folder in your Hyperspin ROMs directory like we did in the last video. Your CHD should already be separated into their own folders, and this is normal. Simply place all of the CHD folders into the same place as your ROMs. Now let's talk about the database. Since MAME runs thousands and thousands of games and is updated on a monthly basis, you won't always find the most recent version in Hyperlist. That being said, the XML from Hyperlist will still work perfectly fine. However, you can find user-generated XMLs on the Hyperspin website in the Downloads, Upload Here, Databases XML section. Today I'm going to grab the databases that Romano has been kind enough to generate for us. If you wish to do the same, simply extract it to a temporary working directory and browse to the MAME Working Games folder. Copy the MAME.XML file to your Hyperspin Databases MAME folder. Overwrite the existing file. Once you're satisfied, you can delete the rest of the download. Inside your MAME databases folder, you'll find a number of other XMLs named after different types of games. These are genre databases, the use of which we'll delve into down the road. Simply set up MAME and Rocket Launcher using the same methodology we learned in the previous videos of this series, and you'll have successfully added MAME to your Hyperspin setup. In the future, before updating MAME, be sure to read the development notes as you may not always want or need the latest version. Remember when you do update, you'll need to quickly revisit the steps we covered in this video. In the next video, we'll be exploring how to set up a disk-based system that requires the use of daemon tools. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.